Once you have downloaded and unzipped the Grade UI Kit zip file, you'll be presented with a Grade UI Kit master folder with several subfolders and a quick start guide. This document provides you with a written account of how to use and install the Grade UI Kit, as well as providing additional information. Please feel free to read it at your leisure. If we open the UI Sheets folder, you're presented with a range of Affinity Designer files which contain specific web elements, as described by the file's name. Double click on the AF Design file to open it in Affinity Designer. The Grade UI Kit uses Roboto and Roboto Condensed as its primary fonts. If you don't have these installed, you'll receive a warning here. If you intend on sticking with these fonts, you can download them from Google Fonts. Many elements come in light and dark variations. You can use the Layers panel to swap between these versions by using their Visibility option here. When you've decided on the version, expand the group by clicking this arrow and then click to select the element you want. Copy it using Command-C on a Mac or Control-C on Windows and paste it into the document you're working on using Command-V on a Mac or Control-V on Windows. Resize and position the web element to suit your design. The Grade UI Kit also comes with a set of basic elements, swatches and gradients, which you can import into Affinity Designer. To import the basic UI elements as assets, first display the Assets panel by selecting it from the View menu from the Studio submenu. Then from Panel Preferences, select Import Assets. Navigate to the Grade UI Kits Assets folder, select the Grade UI AF Assets file and click Open. The assets are imported into the panel from where you can drag them onto the page or artboard. A similar procedure can be used to import the swatches and gradients into the Swatches panel. Select Import Palette as Application Palette from Panel Preferences. Then navigate to the Palettes folder, select an AF Palette file and click Open. Finally, for an example of how the Grade UI Kit can be used, we've provided a sample file within the Sample folder. For the sample, we applied constraints to parts of the design to ensure it reacted correctly if an artboard is resized. We also converted some basic elements into symbols. If you'd like to find out more about using constraints and symbols in your designs, or more about assets, please see our comprehensive help system and other video tutorials, all available from the help menu. Thanks for watching.